portrait of a lady on fire is a love story love between an artist and her muse but the beauty of this movie is when it manifests itself as something beyond a mere love story let's have a look at this movie which does not have almost any male characters at all peut-être que c'est elle qui lui a dit retourne-toi retourne-toi a movie made by women that celebrates women first of all let us raise this question whose portrait is being painted the movie begins and almost ends with marian's portrait being painted whatever happens in the movie is packaged as what happens when the students start drawing marian's portrait and when they finish it does that mean the portrait referred to in the movie is that of marian maybe the very first time marian sees heloise's portrait is in a mirror alongside the reflection of her own face and heloise points this out more explicitly when she says whom do i see it when you see me there are several more instances including the mutual study of the two characters to strongly suggest that the artist and the model are the same in fact there is a scene where we see heloise mixing the colors as if she is the one who is painting but then we see that marian and heloise are not the only ones being painted sofia is the one who introduces fire for the first time in this movie the constant presence of fire as flames splinters crackling sounds or even as passion for love freedom and equality is visible throughout the movie in the background like sofia herself Marianne makes the first woman to woman connection with Sofia when she experiences pain during her periods. Till then Sofia was just a maid, but after the mutual connection was established, we see Marianne, Heloise and Sofia on equal terms. They're all women. In fact, the link established between Sofia and Heloise is the most powerful one in unfolding chain. Sofia is the one who continues with the embroidery work that Heloise's sister left unfinished. She is the one who Heloise's sister could not be like. Sofia is one woman Heloise aspires to be. If Marian connects to Sofia through her menstrual pain, Heloise connects with Sofia's freedom to choose the option for abortion. And Sofia opens a new world of fellow women to both Marian and Heloise. the menstrual period pangs of marian the missed periods of sofia her free choice of abortion and the women aspiring to fly together all culminate in the image when marian recreates the scene of abortion that sofia chooses out of her own free will to understand what goes into the making of this portrait Let us run through the sequence of events. The abortion sketch is made. In the very next scene, Heloise, who never smiles, is seen smiling profusely while posing for the portrait. And immediately after that, Marian and Heloise fly together with help of weed that they collected from the village women. Then comes the remarkably beautiful scene which blends almost all the elements and motifs. Like Orifice making the choice of a poet and decides to turn back and lose Eurydice or Sophia making a choice of a free woman and abortion Marion and Heloise come to terms with their inevitable end of their relationship the model dies and the work of art that Heloise's sister left unfinished is completed by Sophia it all began with these two canvases by the fireside one that complies to the established norms rules conventions and ideas and the other one that breaks all those the first canvas represents the second canvas discovers the women with life with presence with feelings that run deep like love like music those which cannot be explained but can be felt